course, you spend the west and sun. Salt Bay. Be a ton of people. That's the time to be in DC is on the weekends. When? Weekends. They got stuff going on? No, nobody's there. Really? No, no. On Memorial Weekend, no one be in DC? I mean, there'll be people there, but not like they will be in the middle of the week. What? Look at this. Oh, it's 60 again. I can go 60. That was JP's place. Jaded and P's place. Jaded. We missed it. We're getting smaller because we're starting to climb up on top of them. Yeah, we are in the mountains. We're gonna, we're gonna park? Yeah, we're going to the state park. Or this, or this, this is not a national park. I think this is, this, I think this, uh, this might be state funded. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's state park. I don't think it is state funded. Is it, is it a state park? Uh, I think it is. Is it? I don't know. I think it's a private it park. Just it Maybe it's a private park. He can think whatever he wants. It's a showcase. Let, let it go. A showcase. No camera! You been tickled? Yeah. No? Yeah, actually she has. I tickled her pretty good this morning. Oh. Bailey's all over the place last night. Uh -huh. Yeah. Huh? Uh -huh. Somehow you got on the bed and then off the bed and on the bed. I put her on there twice. She, yeah. I noticed that. I was like, Bailey's gone. Going, Bailey. Where you going, Bailey? <laughs> Stop! Don't get in the mess. <laughs> Are you getting the camera, Bailey? Where are we going, Bailey? Don't get in the mess. Have you ever got your glasses on? No, I mean he's got them. I'm gonna give him his glasses. Here. <clears throat> There you go, Thank you. I'll have glasses on. Yeah. Some of our, us have our head, our last man on our head. It's me and uh, Minnie and Dad. Upstairs, yep. <coughs> right up here? Right up here. There's more bathroom down there. There was a bathroom there. After, well, our bathroom up there. Oh, I get them. Okay. There's the glory bathroom, glory bathroom. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Glory bathroom. Watch your head. Oh. All right, how are you doing there, sir? Oh, 30. See? Now past the 30. This past the 30? Look at that.
When the two come together, they form what's called a column. You'll see what I see a good example here. So some of you might have already gotten dripped on by some water. We're going to get wet today. Um, the water dripping in, it filters through the rock layer, and it picks up the minerals in the rock, and those minerals begin to harden. And they start to form stalactites and stalagmites. So bear in mind, it takes about 125 years just to achieve an inch of growth of these things. So some of these have probably been here for thousands, tens of thousands of years. The colors we're going to see today, the white stuff here, this sparkly white stuff, this is calcite, a mineral called calcite. And this is the main ingredient, so to speak, that forms the inner part of stalactites and stalagmites. We will see a lot of this today in different shapes and different forms through the Torah. And the gray that's around it is a mineral called manganese. We won't see too much of that today. And the kind of reddish brown color you see pretty much everywhere, this is a mineral called iron oxide. We call it cave rust. It has kind of a rusty color to it. So any questions before we proceed on? All right, this way. Here, our ceiling is up on its side. It's looking at it from a weird angle. <laughs> so, if you go up the stairs at the bottom of the hill, there's a low spot, so everyone please watch your heads. Just, just, this is how we're going to get good light of this. Put the app up. Let's see what it looks like. What? Oh. Any questions before we move on? hungry on the tour today. It is lunchtime. Thank um, you. I did have Papa John's delivering pizza in here. Here's our upside down triple cheese pizza shield. <laughs> Damn. And if you all look over to the left, you'll see this staircase, man-made staircase, kind of stuck in this rock wall here. We do not know what the locals may have used this room down here for. It was likely used either as a chapel or an amphitheater kind of thing where a performance would have gone on down there. The crowd would have sat up on the stairs, or a preacher could have been up here preaching. We don't know for sure what they used it for. Electricity was not brought into Grand Caverns until 1889. So for 83 years, the four towers would have been conducted with no lights around you, just what was in our hands. That's it. Candles. <laughs> Whoa. The room we're entering now is the Grand Ballroom. It's always 54 to 58 degrees. 
degrees year round in our cabins. So the locals in the summertime would come into this room to get out the heat so they would have their dances in here. And they put over 2,000 candles around the walls. They'd have a band come in here and play. And the band would likely have a natural One guy would escort two girls to the dance. And they'd pay a dollar to get in. So two girls for one guy. These are more girls here than guys. So the one female who was not dancing would come to this stalagmite here. And when she put her hand on top, that was the signal that she was ready to dance. So this became known afterwards as the hitching post. So your tour would have come through this room also. It would have gone up this pathway here, which we'll be doing shortly. Called Lover's Lane. Everybody please watch your feet on this section here. It's very slick, there's not a lot of traffic. And if you folks look where my light is, roughly, you will see the New York City skyline reflected off of this formation up here. Any questions about anything in here before we move on? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, it is slick on these steps. Watch your head, Bailey. What? You guys act like this is a library. It is a cave. <laughs> that man is talking really loud. We waiting on y'all. <laughs> Do a smile we got for
I get a front view. Can I get a front view? Notice all the black marks that are up there? You see these throughout the tour trail in different places. These are all smoke and soot stains from torches used in the 1800s. And they still, they're still here. They will always be here because there's no sun to fade them off. There's no rain to wash them off. So these will always be here. There's neat examples of how tours were conducted a long time ago. Okay, so we're going to head down for you today. But if you don't like to noise. <laughs> and to my left is our Christmas tree covered in calcite snow. Christmas tree. And behind it is the Lean Tower of Pisa. It's just water. Okay. Okay. I'll pick you up just a minute. Let's get out of here. I'll pick you up. Here, hold the camera. She didn't want to touch the water. I don't know why. Maybe she's smart. Stonewall Jackson, whose men came in four grand cabins after they had fought at the battles of Cross Keys in Port Republic, which happened June 8th and 9th, 1862, and that occurred about five to ten minutes north of the park here. So when they came in, some of them were up here and walking around. See it. When they looked up at this what shield, they thought it resembled a horse. Is that a horse? They called this, and named this no. Jackson's horse. So everybody will take a couple steps towards Jackson's horse. Around and 30 feet high. Do you see it? See it right there? 
the area where my light is now, it kind of looks like a frozen waterfall, right? This is called flow stone. So something that's this steep, when the water drips down, and as it comes down, those minerals continue to harden on its way down, creating this frozen waterfall effect here called flow stone. So we are at the deepest part of the tool today. We're about 200 feet from the top. That's where my light is shining on now. A further 100 feet to the outside of the hill, the top of the outside of the hill. So we are 200 feet down below the surface. So if we dug straight out that way, we'd come out somewhere around the parking lot level. And above us is a natural land bridge that comes this way. It kind of curves in that little path between the forest. So we call this one the shield room. Like we have different examples like you've seen throughout the tour today. Big double shield here. Here's one, two, a smaller little double shield there. And just different examples. Dessert is in this room. Our coconut cream pie shield is sliding out of the oven. That's here. And we have two oven mitts to catch it. <laughs> down the way.